What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a cinematic text transition in Premiere Pro. So of course the first thing, have a sequence opened and then you need to add some text. So I'm going to come up to the type tool, I'm going to draw out a box and I'm simply going to enter the text that I want. Now all I'm going to do is just reposition it so I'll size this down and put it to the center. Now of course for this to work we will also need some more text so I'm going to come across on the timeline. I'm going to get the type tool and I'm going to drag out another box and type in something else. Now I'm going to press Control A, come up to Effect Controls and just center the text. Then I'm going to come to the Move tool and simply put it back into the center. So now this is what we have. We have text saying Casual Savage and then we have text saying Premiere Pro Tutorial. So we're going to do a little bit of keyframing but it's really simple. So we're first of all going to start in with the first piece of text. And all we're going to be doing is selecting the animation on the scale. Now this is just five seconds. So what I'm going to do is go to three seconds and I'm simply going to put up the scale, but only a little bit. So it'll be like here. Then I'm going to come across a little bit more just so we can still see our text, not to the end just yet. And all I'm going to do is zoom this to the max and I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep going until nothing is left on the screen like that. Now this end keyframe, I'm going to drag it off to the end. So now if I play it through, you can see this is what we get and then bang. And that's when this text would come in as well. So then for the next piece of text, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to toggle the animation on scale. We're then going to come across. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to bring it up a little bit so it creates that zoom transition. And then I'm going to come across to the end just here and zoom in as much as I can. Now notice we have an issue on this one. As if I zoom in a lot more, it's just going into the white. So this is where things get a little bit more complicated because as well as keyframing the scale, we're now also going to keyframe the position. So I'm gonna leave that where it is. I'm then gonna come back to the start on the very first keyframe and we're now going to press toggle animation on position. We're gonna to come to the next frame, which is this one here and we're going to keep it the same. So we're going to press add or remove keyframe so it stays the same. But then on this last frame here, what we're going to do is reposition it. So you can see I'm going to head towards the black area here. And all I'm going to do again is bring up the scale a little bit more. So we have no white area. Just like this. These two end keyframes, I'm going to highlight them by left clicking and dragging. And I'm going to drag what the hell, why? I'm not able to do that. I don't know if that picked up on the mic, but why the hell did Siri... Let me screenshot what Siri actually thought I said. What the hell? You'll see that in the video. I haven't. I did not say anything related to that. Anyway, uh, continuing on. So playing it through now. Playing it, playing it, and bang. Now, next piece of text hasn't come in. So this is where we need to put layer the text. So this text on the right we're going to drag it back so you can see it's going to be there straight away so now if I play it through see it doesn't look as smooth so now we're going to right click the text and add a transition now this is just going to be a fade so as you can see it will fade in now I want it to come in while this text is still on screen so now if I play it through as this is going to be zooming out quickly that text is going to be coming in and then you just repeat that process. And as you can see at the end, uh, toggling the positioning and the scale at the same time, it zooms straight into the R gap here. So again, playing it through. That's how simple it is to create. You can see it looks really nice. Of course, adding a nicer font, adding some nice colors, adding nice overlays, etc. You can make this look really nice and definitely some sound effects to it as well. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. If you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to let me know in the comments or ask me on social media. 